Hamtech M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's have a look at this Retivis RA89 VHF UHF set. Now it's quite a solid device. It's not the newest super duper device with a spectrum waterfall color screen, but it's a solid performer with IP68 and 10 watts. So that's what I'm waiting to, to have a look at. Wow, that's a nice manual, isn't it? Cool, that's like very good quality. Hopefully that will um, carry on throughout the the unboxing of this radio. So let's not spend ages unboxing everything. So inside here, programming cable, and yes, it does work with Chirp, which is excellent news. That's the way we like it. If it works with Chirp, we've already got that. Most of us ham radio operators, twin pin cable, Chirp. So there it is there, and it's marked Retivis. Inside the box, we've got the microphone as well. Nice, neat size. Little clip there. Yeah, I like it. And a twin pin, just like the programming cable. Yes, it is USB-C charging, which comes with the cable. So you do have a, a charging base, which I think is important that we've got somewhere to sit our radio. Um, but it, instead of being powered by a DC mains, you've got USB-C. So you can pretty much charge it with anything you've got. And there's the, the voltage there, which is like 2 amp. Is it 5 watt? Go on my eyes. Yes, it is 5 volt, 2 amp. So there you go. And it's quite a nice, neat, lightweight one as well. Your sort of standard... Oh, that's good, isn't it? Looks actually better quality than I'm used to. Nice quality antenna, and then quite a hefty battery, 2.500 milliamp hour. I mean, it feels chunky and solid. 7.4 volt, 2,500 milliamp, there you go. Nice chunky battery, and the actual radio, which is bigger than I was expecting. Um, yeah, nice feeling buttons, got a screen protector on there. I'm sure this comes in different brand names, but there's all the information. And look here, crucially, 10 watt. Now, not very often you see that actually written on the device. And um, so let's test that out, get the antenna on there. Oh, nice big torch, get the battery on there. Like so, get it the right way around. I've never used this, so if I get it wrong, oh, it does feel, it does feel really chunky, and I've got to learn how to do this. So you pull that, like so. Let's get some light on this. Pull that. You got like a tab. Pull it forward and then let go, and it grips. So I've never done it before, so that's on that. And look, USB actually on the battery. So you don't even have to use the cradle charger. Get my little grommet back on there. It does, it feels, you know, it feels solid. I was looking at a video the other day of the Lection, which is a 20 watt radio. It's like that, it feels solid. We will turn it on in a minute. Let's get the antenna on there. No, oh, I've never used it, so if I don't know what I'm doing. Oh yeah, very nice. Nice, yeah, very nice quality looking. Let's put in my node four. Oh, it looks like we're in channel mode, so we need to get into VFO mode. I can see AB, work that one out, channel mode. There's your menu. Yeah, it's different than I'm used to. I'll do. I'll be doing video tutorials anyway, how to use it. Torch looks like it's that one. It's quite a big torch. It's not a small torch. Input. PTT, of course. When you've got that, that's where your 
speaker mic and your programming cable goes, you do have to remove that screw. Let's put the belt clip on. So we'll do some basics. We've turned it on. The backlight, it looks like the longest you can have is seven seconds. But anyway, let's just, we're, we're in uh, memory mode. It sort of turns on, you're in memory mode. How can you tell? You can see the channel, the channel numbers just here. Just here, look. And if you go up and down, the channel numbers change. Sorry, it's a bit glary. It's quite hard to keep it so that you can, uh, with the light change. Anyway, to go to VFO mode, type in, just briefly press the hash here at the bottom right. And you're at the A band is now in VFO mode. If you hold down the radio one, you have the radio. Okay, but back there, we're in VFO mode. I'm gonna type in my node, which is four, three, four, five, five, zero. It's an analog node. I'm just gonna fire it up. I mean, it's a solid device. I'll turn that down, and on the B band, I'll go to B, pressing the red one, and I'm going to put in one. Oh, we need to get into VFO mode. So B band, brief press on the hash, one, four, five, six hundred. So just in case, let's see what we get. Now we'll go back to the A band. Now, can you see it's only receiving one at a time? And the reason that signal is scratchy is because the, 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 that, and that node is linked to loads of repeaters around the country. It's called Hubnet. So if they're weak, it's weak. But this, the display is, is very nice. Now let's just say we want to add, let's go to the B band and add, let's add some things to open up the repeater. So we'll go press F menu and we'll start going up or down. So look at the numbers here. We've got number five. Let's lower the squelch by pressing F again. And we'll move, lower it to about three, press F, and you've lowered it. So up and down the menus, 0, 5, and the battery is low, so I need to charge it up. So the power is set on high. We will test it, but I'd rather test it with a full power battery. Uh, and there's a timeout on the menu, so we go menu. Let's start at number one, three, two, one. Oh, it's got a last channel section and a scan. But anyway, we'll go up. We're going to look for setting our repeater shifts. There's our light, and as far as I can see, it's seven seconds, but the, the software might be different. You've got LED there as well. D-weight, let's just press that. Is that dual watch? I'm gonna put that on, it might be dual watch. Let's keep going down the menus. LEDs, the light, beep, on or off. DT channel, don't know what that is yet. Timeout is how long you speak, so it's 180 seconds. Remember to change anything, you just press F. Up and down with arrows, F, and you've changed it. It's quite straightforward. So let's go, keep going. Roger, beep, Vox. I think that means that one there is if someone's speaking, if it's a busy channel, it won't let you key. Up is higher numbers, Vox, Roger, receive. I don't know what that does. Scan, S. Auto lock, yeah, voice, that's when it talks to you. Open set character, don't know what that is yet. Volts, there's your offset, so that's good. So you can change your offset. If it was 70 centimeters, you'd change it to 7.600, but that's for a two meter repeater. So we'll keep going up. It does remember where you were last. We want CTCSS, they are transmit. So that's TCDC, but we want, there's step, wide and narrow, seek. Looking for CTCSS. Dual watch, that's on, that's good. So dual watch is menu 34. Radio version that I've got. There may be a new firmware, we'll check that. Here goes, receive encode. We don't want receive, but we do want transmit encode. I'm going the wrong way again. Reset all dual watch. 30, it's going quite fast to find. We're trying to find transmit encode. Am I going straight past it? We've got receive encode. Back to the beginning. So it could be, let's find it. Let's keep looking. 
26 shift direction, and we want minus, so we go F, and then we'll go minus. So we've got our minus in there, which is good. We'll get in there, one, four, five, six hundred. That's our repeater. Minus shift, so now we need, uh, we need to get the tone in there. So let's go down one. Ah, I, I think that's going to be your your tone there. C, D, C, F. Then ninety four point eight. Yep. Select. So we've got the tone in there. So in theory, that's my node. In theory, with that, you can open the the repeater, you've got your tone, your shift, everything's there. So let's try and save it, the B band, we're going to hold down the F. Gives us the option to select a channel number, so let's do it at number 3. And then we're going to press the hash. And we go back into memory mode by just briefly pressing the hash. And there it is. So that's how you save a memory channel. Yeah, it seems quite straightforward. So in memory mode, can we name this? Let's go menu. And then we're going to look for what could be a search through naming memory. Quite a few to look at. We'll try display NM. And then we, we can, let's just choose Z, yeah? Is it going to be the hash? Go like so. Mm, I think we'll do a separate video altogether on naming memories. <laughs> that seems complicated. If I hit star, no. Menu. On. Okay, we're on. Oh, you know what it's like. As soon as you know, you know, don't you? And it's only an unboxing. Let's try that again. Let's try going across with the star. Well, that lets me go across to put characters up and down. Star. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Uh, up and down. We'll finish down. We'll, we'll make a dedicated video just for memories anyway. It's just annoying me. Press star. You go along. Seven. Press the F. Choose your letter up and down. Press star to go along. Then do you press F to save? Let's say that's saved. We'll escape. Mm, no, we'll read the manual, we'll learn it properly. Thanks for watching, but you know, it's a chunky budget radio. We're gonna, we will test the power, but I wanna charge the battery up first. Uh, back for more, bye for now. That was just the unboxing, 7.3, all the best.